Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Dr. Dandarmeet. Uh, I am presenting the case for you, Mr. Uh, live double live. It is a short case. Yes, sir. So, presenting a short case. Yes, sir. Short case, sir. What is your diagnosis? Yes. Sir, my diagnosis is uh, benign neoplastic swelling over uh, darso rectal aspect of the right foot. Uh, with uh, 30 year male uh, with, uh, uh, without in, in, uh, without uh, with normal range of motion and without uh, neurological deficit. My diagnosis uh, is uh, giant cell tumor. I think repeat your diagnosis again. Repeat your diagnosis again. Sir, repeat your diagnosis again. Sir, benign neoplastic swelling over uh, dorsal lateral spread of right foot of size 5 into 7 cm. Uh, 15 year male uh, without neurological deficit with normal range of motion. My total diagnosis yes, sir. Sight of lesion is not clear. Diagnosis has four components. Yes. Sight of the lesion, nature of the lesion, pathophysiology and function Sight. So, what is the sight of lesion? You have never not told us. So, sight of darso lateral aspects are over 4th and 5th, sir. Is it no. soft tissue swelling or bony swelling? It's a bony swelling, sir. What is the bone? It's not from your diagnosis. So, where does it arise? You repeat your diagnosis again. It's a benign neoplastic lesion over glossolate aspect uh, over fourth and fifth metatarsal in 30 year male. Uh, with fourth or fifth? fifth? Which one? Yes, sir. Uh, which one? Fourth, sir. That is so swelling was a fourth. Listen. If you are saying a bony swelling, yes, sir. Bony swelling cannot, one bony swelling cannot arise from two bones. Yes, sir. It has to be one bone. Yes, a fourth metatarsal. So you, should, you, should, you should be very clear which bone is it. Yes, sir. So four metatarsal <coughs> in 13 year male without neurological deficit and uh, with normal range of motion. Metatarsal, which part of the metatarsal? Sir, uh, over, uh, sir, sir, uh, sir, four metatarsal completely no, sir. So what are the parts of the metatarsal? Sir, head, neck and sir. Head, neck and shaft. Yes, and base. Yes, sir. Which part is the body? Sir, neck and shaft. Neck and shaft. Is the joint important? It may be difficult no, sir. to be so much precise. That's what I think. Yeah, which end? Proximal. And then you said it is a giant it's cell to go. Why do you want to say that? So what are the points in favor of your Diagnosis. Sir, in my diagnosis, the patient is uh, 30 year male, sir. It's a focused area. Yeah. As a pair of people. As a carbon lead. Carbon lead is there. Yeah, the high point. Sir, point favor, madam, sir. Uh, patient A, sir. 30 year male, sir. 13. 30, sir. 30, sir. 30 year male. And sir, swelling uh, sir, duration sir, around sir, 7 to 8 months. Yes, sir. And patient uh, swelling was gradually progressing sir, uh, and pain on some deep palpation. Sir, and uh, swelling not associated with uh, regular pain, sir. Yes, sir. On deep palpation, there is pain. I'll give you a hint right at top. Yes, sir. The hint is that if you will commit right in the beginning that it's a neoplastic swelling, yes, you lose all the ground for differential diagnosis. Don't commit right now that this is no plastic swelling. Okay, great. It might appear, it might turn out to be GCD, neoplasm, but then there are several differential diagnoses which are non neoplastic. Then you are looking on all of these differential diagnoses when you commit right in the beginning a neoplastic swelling. Don't commit. So, patient age, sir, duration, and sir, size. And so without pain, and sir, no visible dilation of pain, and so any scar mark, and so any condition, and so any so, uh, local items of severe temperatures, so, and so, uh, 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 any so, uh, environment of sudden so, motion, or joint. I told us benign, sir. Tenderness? Tenderness is non-deep palpation, sir. So deep palpation, sir. Deep palpation, yes, sir. In your presentation, when I asked you, okay, repeat your diagnosis, all the three times you said normal range of movements and no neural deficit. Yes. 
So, is it necessary to speak this in a diagnosis? That is what I was wondering. I can join movements. Good, you said that movements are normal. Neurovascular depression not there. So, in short case, I think it should be more precise about diagnosis. This is not required. If they are present, yes. If not, then present. And then, as lots have said, that uh, your diagnosis giant cell tumor from the metatarsal. Yes. All right. So then, question comes uh, that why do you say that it is from the bone and not from the soft tissues? So, uh, from the heart is the consistency, sir. Uh, the skin surface is missing. Sorry, say skin what? So, the skin is a fixed nature. So, if it is fixed to the skin, then what is in your mind? Sir, any sir, malignant sir, changes um, in swelling. Any malignant sir? It's not necessary that all the time it is fixed to the skin. See, in your diagnosis, you have to differentiate between two things. Is it a benign or is it a malignant? Number one. Yes, Number two, is it a soft tissue swelling or is it from the bone? These are the only points of discussion. Well, as we say, <coughs> that you are pointing to a diagnosis which is a very rare. Giant cell tumor in a metatarsal in this app is something very rare. What is the, what? So think about the common things first. So, in a sense, you are talking about a, a bony swelling which is arising out of the shaft of the metatarsal. Yes. The uh, uh, head, neck, sir. Uh, the friction is a barren of bones and the actual chin was. Major swelling is in the neck and sinus. Okay, I agree. It's a swelling which is arising of the bones. Yes, sir. Most likely sharp. Yes, sir. Or distal, let's say distal one. Yes, sir. Right? And this is what you want to say. Now, what is the differential diagnosis? Sir, differential is in flat tubular bones, sir, in chondroma, sir, maybe. This is not a flat tubular bone. Is it a flat bone? Sir, tubular bone, sir. Tubular bone. Yes, sir. Metacarpal metatarsal surface of common side of the chondroma. But then, sir, in chondroma, sir, more common is a hand. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. Or, and? Either, sir, sir, and it's not bone, sir, sir. Sir, still chondroma. You are not getting. See what he is trying to ask you. Why do you say that? You mean because if you just come to the diagnosis, is a giant cell tumor. Yes, so that no, no, listen. Then sometimes comes to your mind you are insisting on a giant cell tumor from the metatarsal, which is not so common, uncommon. So uh, do you know this diagnosis before, and that's why you are coming out with again and again. If I say no, this this is from the bone. But it may be of the effective pathology also. Exactly. This is what I this is what I wanted to extract. Do you know the diagnosis already? Why even this? Have you seen that stress? Real yes, problem. Yes, sir. Yes. So that that is that is the problem. It is so obvious from your presentation. It's obvious. Your my mind, first diagnosis seeing him will be chronic osteoarthritis. Yeah. Mine will be chronic osteoarthritis or tuberculosis. Yes. I'm not even thinking of DCT in this patient. So there is no history of fever and yeah, whatever may be. <laughs> no, whatever Even may be. if you know the diagnosis in the examination, be wise. <laughs> Present the common things. So if you will know the diagnosis, then your mind will be blocked. So your thought, thought process will just follow the diagnosis. And you will not be presenting the case with an open mind. And that's the advice that do not you should not insist on knowing the diagnosis. Right? Otherwise, you will not be able to think of the differential diagnosis, especially in a, in a, in a short case. So now I think uh, you can we can re begin. Yeah. Now I think you can re begin. Why do you? What do you think this swelling is? Examination. Sir, examination, uh, sir. Uh, in, uh, my, in my examination, I found a swelling of size of four to seven centimeter size. Uh, which is uh, sir, uh, soft, uh, and sir, skin is a no normal skin, uh, the surface is smooth, it's a globular swelling, uh, margin, uh, sir, uh, smooth margin, and sir, no fistula of skin, and sir, a uh, uh, soft, uh, firm to hard is extensive. So again, when you are presenting a short case and you are being asked the examination findings, you have to follow the rule of inspection, palpation, and measurement, right? You don't have to jump on to palpation. 
So the examination rules, they all remain same, whether a long case or a short case. So always begin with inspection. Sir, in inspection, sir, uh, there is a, a normal, uh, there is swelling over the dorsal tarsal of the uh, right foot um, uh, in the four metatarsal area, which is four, uh, which is approximately four into five centimeters in size, and uh, there is no directed vein. Sir, so there is uh, uh, no scar mark. So there is no ulceration of foundation or the surface. So there is no uh, sign of inflammation. Is the swelling mobile? Sir, uh, come to heart, sir. Uh, is that mobile? Yes, sir. Side to side mobile? No, sir. It is. Physical sign is wrong, then you will get hurt. Look at this. Look at this. This is mobile. The other thing is saturation. Agent test positive. Hai. और हर सरफेस मेटल कार्प कार्पल का नहीं इंवॉल्व है। तो इट्स नॉट इंपोर्टेंट दैट टाइप सर। तो मो मे बी इट इस फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ यू। फिजिकल साइंस। देखा तो फ्लक्चुएशन देखा? सब फ्लक्चुएशन है। हैं? बस मोबाइल में। पेजेस टेस्ट पालो में। सेंटर में सॉफ्टर पेरफ्री में एंड दैट इज़ व्हाट आई सेड इट इस इट इस सॉफ्ट इन द सेंटर टू बी टेस्टेड इट्स ओनली द सुपीशियन पार्ट ऑफ द स्वेलिंग व्हिच इस अ व्हिच इस सम मोबिलिटी और सुपर मोबिलिटी बट द एक्चुअल स्वेलिंग इज मच मोर देन द पार्ट व्हिच वी आर एबल टू एंड सेकंडली दिस साइड if you do a test like this, then fourth metatarsal it pains, but यहाँ दर्द है, fifth नहीं pain करता है, तो तुम सही कह रहे हो कि हम मेटा मेटाटारसल पे localize नहीं कर पा रहे हैं, क्योंकि वो जो है actually extend कर रही है across the soft tissue you see, the soft tissues are not normal. It's not normal soft tissue as you feel on the other foot. This is sub, sub this is a indurated soft tissue, and uh, there are fluctuations present, and it is separate from the metatarsal. Oh, वैसे so, ये बात हो सकती है कि ये metatarsal में कोई lesion हो जो के leak करके वहाँ swelling बना ली. ठीक है. अब तुम्हारी diagnosis क्या है? Look, what is the site? And what is the nature? Is the nature infective or neoplastic? Sir, the site? Sir, the site is a poor metatarsal. Sir, the site is a soft tissue. Soft tissue is a soft tissue. Soft tissue is a soft tissue. Which site is? Which site is a tender? As he said, there is a tenosinovitis. It is one of the tenders. Which tender is there? कौन से टेंडर होते हैं डॉक्टर साइड पे फुट सब वैसा रिस्टोर एक्सटेंसर 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 डी जोड़ा फ्रॉम एक्सटेंसर नहीं लेकिन देवेश वन थिंग ही सेड द डायमेंशन ऑफ़ द स्वेलिंग इस फोर सेंटीमीटर बाय फाइव सिक्स सेंटीमीटर समथिंग लाइक दिस एक तो इन्होंने इतना बड़ा पिलेट किया अब आप एक बताओ कि Second thing is, if you say that it is from the bone, okay, then in what situation you can have a soft fluctuation like this? Is it possible? And it's infective pathology. One to infective pathology, one to... And it's a dendion, sir. And it's also painful, sir. And it's a dendion, sir. Or any other? If it is from the bone, if it is neoplastic, then are there any neoplastic conditions or in neoplasm can something happen so it present in the superficial part as a, a fluctuation of soft, let's say soft. Cystic swelling, sir. 
reach of cortex. That's the answer, he said. Now, let's analyze it further. What Professor Singh has said. Absolutely right. Now you tell me, think of a situation where it is a tumor, benign or malignant, from the bone, but the presenting like this. Where superficially it is soft. Can it happen? How can it happen? In the cortical brains, there is a soft tissue, sir, in one All cortical brains is one. Sir, uh, which is the cortical? Sir, nine cell tumor, sir. So, is the cortical? Nine cell tumor, sir. So, what is the cortical? For hot? Sir, my opinion is the range, sir. So, now, you have to look at the inspection, size, shape, extent. Palpation, surface, margins, temperature, consistency of the relationship with surrounding structures and distal effects. So, limb node, node, they can look at the limb node. This is the heading. So, whatever we have discussed, all this possibility exists. Can it be malignant? Malignancy? Uh, yes, sir. So, now, would you like to revise your diagnosis now? Sir, in my diagnosis, there is a, uh, any benign swelling. Now, you benign, benign, what do you mean by benign port tumor in classification? You have to forget that you have seen this x-ray. Just forget it. You have to know that if you have seen x-ray, then you are correct. And, and, and intentionally, we are not taking that thing. All of us are wrong. But we want to say... We know that. <laughs> we know that. Actually, we are discussing. Now tell me, tell me about the benign board tumor classification. Tell me about the benign board tumor classification. They must know. Fata-fat. Sir, it's a benign swelling, sir. Benign swelling? Bone tumor. Sir, bone tumor, sir. Any kind of classification, sir? Tell me, brother. Sir, it's a grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, sir. Grade 1, sir. Intra, sir. Grade 2, sir. Classification. Classification. Benign bone tumor. Sir, you have already seen benign bone tumor. Sir, tell me, sir. Tell me, sir. Tell me, sir. अब याद रखना अगर नहीं बता पा रहे ऑस्टियोमा कॉन्ड्रोमा ऑस्टियोकॉन्ड्रोमा फाइब्रोमा सेस्ट ये है क्लासिफिकेशन ऑस्टियोमा कॉन्ड्रोमा ऑस्टियोकॉन्ड्रोमा फाइब्रोमा सेस्ट इन फॉर्म से सेल ऑफ ओरिजिन जहाँ जाना है तो कहाँ कहाँ से आ सकते हैं वो सोचो ये सब है ना तो उसमें से लगता है आपको ये कोई क्या आप � Osteoastoma or? Sir, osteoma, I say bony, sir. No, no, sir. Classification, tell me. Osteoma, ivory osteoma, osteoastoma, chancellor's osteoma. Now, tell me about chondroma. Cartilaginous tumor, there are four, there are four. Three classification are chondroma. One chondroma, and chondroma. Understand? और मल्टीपल और सॉलिटरी और हिस्टोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन हिस्टोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन कौन रोमा का बोलो सर हिस्टोलॉजिकल सर चोरी की जा रहा है अरे चोर को मर गया क्या जाए ये बताओ आप क्या समझते हैं पैथोलॉजिकल बच्चे हैं या नहीं हैं यस सर पेशेंट है सर गिवन स्ट्री ऑफ सर सर्जन बेटर टार्सल इंटैक्ट है ये डिस्टर्ब्ड है। डॉक्टर सिंह ने एक साइड बताया रखने का साइड। हमारे फ्रेंड एग्जामिन कर रहे थे, मैंने कर दिया। क्या था? हैं? क्या साइड? प्रेजेंट साइड। क्या किया था उन्होंने? सर मिस्टर मिड सेंट्रल से सॉफ्ट एंड पेरिफेरिस सब कम हो गया। आपने और कुछ इन्होंने क what was that? Pain. Operation distraction. If there is a pain, a tender is in the pain, then the doctor will check it out. Then the doctor will check it out. If there is a pain, if there is a pain, then the doctor will check it out. If there is a pain, then the doctor will check it out. That can be one alternative. That is one alternative.
और कोई डिफरेंशियस हो सकते हो नहीं आराम से आराम से डॉर्सम ऑफ फुट के इन्फ्लेमेटरी लीजन्स जो कि इन्फेक्टिव हो कौन कौन से पहले काफी कॉमन थी क्या कौन सा जो बहुत सीवियर होता है बाद में कर ले ऐसा कौन सा
Now, read the x-ray. Sir, this is a digital x-ray of uh, foot, uh, sir, EPN oblique view. Showing the foot and ankle joint and sir distal tibia and fibula. Sir, uh, there is an uh, expensile lytic lesion over four metatarsal uh, uh, with uh, suspicions and sir uh, future sclerosis over the suspicions and sir uh, sinus cortical breach. Hmm? Cortical breach. Cortical breach. Yes, okay. You have said lytic lesion? So lytic, expensile lytic lesion. Expensile lesion, yes. yes expensile lytic lesion. Okay. Yes, sir. We said some sclerosis also. Yeah. Okay. We said cortical lesion. The extent of involvement? The so extent, sir, involves, uh, uh, sir, from neck to, sir, base of the, sir, for the person. Almost the whole of the yes, person. Yes, for the person. Okay. Joints? Neighboring joints? Sir, uh, there is decrease just a joint space over the sir. Uh, okay. So, what do you think now? Now, this this was the picture the patient visited you in the OPD today, and yes. you got an emergency X-ray. Right? And this is the film. Yes. Now, what do you do? Sir, uh, first, sir, uh, in X-ray, sir, uh, we. Go for us, sir. What will you do? The next step. Yes, sir, the next step will go for us, sir. We have sir, to cut the wires. And sir, we will we will straight away jump to the no, sir. Okay, sir. We will go for MRI and then go for the and this is soft tissue, sir. Normal, sir. So MRI, sir. There is no role of lab investigations in this patient. Yes, sir. So there is sir. Patients are calcium profile, sir. As a uh, infinity marker, so PSRC, RP. Why do you want calcium profile in this patient? Sir, calcium profile. Calcium. Calcium profile, sir. Calcium profiles. Calcium. Calcium profiles. Calcium. Why, why you want calcium? Why, why do you want calcium in this patient? Sir, uh, two, sir, uh, roll out, sir, and sir, brown tumor, sir. Which are referential. Brown tumor, you have to So, why do you want calcium to get? Are you not sure that these same? A tumor from the bone? Yes, sir. Alright, so tumor from the bone, you said you want to get inflammatory markers. Yes, sir. For what? Calcium phosphorus, alkaline phosphatase, for what? But if you have to do some blood investigation. Sir, sir CBC, sir. CBC, how CBC is going to help? Sir, there is a increase, sir. Tumor marker? Tumor marker? I want to rule out infection in this case. Sir, first we'll go for the sir, uh, count, sir. See, whatever is most common in our country, we have to rule out that first. Sir, tuberculosis. The tuberculosis can present in all myriads and forms. Yes, sir. So you have to rule out tuberculosis. You have to rule out infection in our country. Yes, sir. Along with one tumor, obviously. Yes, so what would you do? Sir, next, sir, oh. x-ray test, sir. Hmm? Sir, x-ray test. X-ray test, okay. Or? And sir, uh, we go for the sir, uh, uh, sir, count the patient and sir, there are uh, CB net, sir, sir, sputum, sir, so AFB, sir, and sir, ESR and CRP, sir, and sir, chronic or CRP. Yes, sir, CRP, CB net, sir, but then we get it. Yes, sir. Okay. You said MRI. Why you wanted to do an MRI? Sir, soft tissue, sir, tension, sir, and sir, planning. What, in what way MRI is going to help you? Will it give a confirmatory diagnosis? What is the best investigation to give you the uh, nature of pathology? Histopathology. Histopathology. Should get a histopathology. Yes. Yes. And suppose it shows giant cell tumor. Yes. Can you say? Then what next? Sir, uh, can go for the sir, uh, treatment. Yes. Giant cell tumor is Yes, sir. Up next, what up? Okay, let me put it this way. Is the GCT hack your diagnosis? तो मैं पता ही है ना यस सर इसी जांच के पेशेंट सर सो बोल रहे हैं सर सर पेशेंट सर वो देखा सर सो बोल रहे हैं सर बायोप्सी प्रूव्ड है सही है पूछ रहा बायोप्सी प्रूव्ड है क्या हाँ बायोप्सी इतने बायोप्सी प्रूव हो गया आपका जांच से चुमा आ गया but I must tell you all of all the students this type of case if you get an examination and you say first diagnosis is giant cell tumor that 
tells you that you know the diagnosis of it. And that is the same thing what is happening. Nobody will diagnose it like that. That will be disastrous. Because what is being examined here is your approach to the patient, not your diagnosis. Something else can be done. So we can auto-resist uh, 
the joints of both Already with what? Sir, fifth metatarsal serves for it, sir, midline has So, you are partly correct, you will put in the transverse there are two joints the next of two metatarsals, so that will save from recurrence. Yes. If you will put a long graph and then it recurs, it will eat away the whole of the graph. So if, if that survives, yes, you can reconstruct further. If it, if, uh, if, if it doesn't survive, if it survives, it will serve a very good So supposing uh, that, uh, supposing you have put a particular graph. In time, bring the next case. And you have uh, fused the Metatarso metatarsal, uh, sorry, uh, metatarso phalangeal joint. From you have fused the metatarso phalangeal joint, then what part of gate can be affected? Uh, Stand phase may gain spike, both the foot flat, both the toe break, both the foot drop, both the cons of air is turbid. Over the left wrist is in seven, uh, seven months and uh, decreased range of motion of left wrist, uh, left wrist uh, since seven months. Since Swelling uh, uh, in left wrist in nine, uh, nine months, uh, pain in uh, left uh, wrist is in uh, seven months and decreased range of motion in left wrist. I'm very sorry to interrupt. Uh, Slashu is a short case, so it would be better if you just finish the short case. Let's start with the time. Uh, so my diagnosis is uh, 38 year male uh, with, uh, uh, with a uh, swelling over uh, left wrist, uh, most probably a benign swelling. So you are emphasizing uh, all the time on the wrist. So is the problem in the wrist? The lower end of 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 the wrist, around wrist. Yeah. Sir, I have one question. Again. We are asking you in the diagnosis. Your most probable clinical diagnosis. Yes. Uh, most probably it's a benign tumor. Benign tumor, you know, benign tumor, there are many people, 25, 30. Repeat your diagnosis. Revise. Uh, revise your diagnosis. Uh, no, I'm not presenting it. What is most your diagnosis? Benign tumor, most probably a benign tumor. Benign tumor. It is incomplete diagnosis. Again, same thing. Sight of the lesions, nature of the lesion. Uh, uh, swelling over uh, left wrist, most probably benign. Uh, yes, you have already seen. You, if, you, if, if you don't want to say single diagnosis, you can say, sir, I will present. If it's a diagnosis, you want to say three diagnoses, we accept that. Number one. What is your yeah. number one diagnosis? Number one diagnosis. Of? of uh, lower end radius. How much time do you say to 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 then we will discuss further. Is there any differential diagnosis? So you were hesitant in committing. If you have a differential diagnosis, tell us. Duration? Duration is nine months. Nine months. So there is no differential diagnosis. So most probably is Most probably man liya. We all differential have probability. Nahi. Nahi hai to baat kata. Nahi hai. So our point is your own. So age of the patient. Points in favor. So, suppose you have to study it. Which is what you have to study? How do you study it? So, age group of the patient. Yeah, color cut is very bad. Color might be not good. Can you? Uh, 
साइड ऑफ यूमिटी से लोअर एंड रेडियस में कोई एंड्रोजिनल बोसिस नहीं हो सकता बट सर एज ऑफ द पेशेंट्स और एनिमल्स में यूजुअली पेशेंट इसके आप एक एक पॉइंट पे चलिए जो जो पूछा है ना उसके बारे में बात करो साइड ऑफ द लोअर एंड रेडियस में आपने कहा लोअर एंड रेडियस में कुछ और चीज भी होनी चाहिए जॉइंट एंड ट्यूमर कहने के लिए हम साइड की बात कर रहे हैं सर एज की बात नहीं कर रहे हैं लोअर एंड ये पूरा लोअर एंड है यहां से यहां तक अब उसमें लीजन इज रीचिंग टू द आर्टिकुलर सरफेस और नॉट दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज जॉइंट एंड ट्यूमर इज इन द आर्टिकुलर एंड ऑफ द बोन पोलिस फ्रैक्चर भी होता है लोअर एंड रेडियस में आर्टिकुलर सर्फेस में तो नहीं होता है so on your examination can you feel the part of the bone beyond the tumor or not i don't know i don't know you are there is a message message here to everyone okay the giants and tumor see, extends right up to the end of the bone all right पार्ट ऑफ बोन बियॉन्ड द ट्यूमर विच इज विच लुक्स फीस नॉर्मल देन इट कैन नॉट इट यूज विल नॉट बी जैंट सेल ट्यूमर बिकॉज जैंट सेल ट्यूमर विल गो अपू द एंड because this, this type of tumor can be there in the femur tibia anyway you must you know, there should not be a normal bone beyond the tumor a tumor must go to the articular edge that is what is important yes what else okay margins are smooth surfaces uh, sir margins are smooth huh? so surface is smooth surface is smooth globular nahi lag rahi mujhe to margin smooth to nahi hoti किस मार्जिन की बात कर रहे हैं आप सदर स्वेलिंग स्मूथ नफ्स टेन इज नॉट सेक्स नहीं स्मूथ तो सरफेस होता है सरफेस मार्जिन वेल डिफाइंड मार्जिन जो है मार्जिन एक प्रोक्सिमल मार्जिन है डिस्टर्ब मार्जिन डिस्टर्ब मार्जिन ऑलरेडी हम लोगों ने बात कर लिया कि एंड ऑफ द बोन तक जा रहा है प्रोक्सिमल मार्जिन के बारे में बताइए बोलिए तो मार्जिन आप मार्जिन का मतलब क्या हुआ कि ये ट्यूमर कहाँ तक जा रहा है ये मार्जिन ये है यहाँ स्वेलिंग का मार्जिन यहाँ है ये इट इज मर्जिंग विद द बोन यू कैन नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट वेयर स्वेलिंग इज एंडिंग इट इज मर्जिंग विद द प्रॉक्सिम विद द पोस्ट बोन हियर दैट इज अथिंग देन यू कैट सो मैनी इतना एंगॉज वेन्स दिख रही हैं हाँ बोलिए The tumor, the swelling is so big, it is encroaching on the soft tissues. Hmm? Temperature is higher or not? Sir, it is temperature is higher. Temperature is not 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 higher. features of uh, the surface in a gct because so, so, so. you will come to non palpate only when you will know what do i have to palpate consistency kaisi ho usme form 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 always always isme form nahi hai isme to form nahi hai कैसी है ये सॉफ्ट है फॉर्म है हार्ड है या तीनों है इसीलिए फॉर्म कैसे क्या क्यों कह रहे हैं फॉर्म देखिए इसको पेलपेट कीजिए यहाँ फॉर्म है यहाँ पेलपेट कीजिए ये फॉर्म है यहाँ यहाँ सॉफ्ट है है क्या नहीं तो वेरिएबल हो गई ना यहाँ तो ये फॉर्म है इस साइड में इस साइड में तो नहीं है 
what does that tell you? Probably, yes. But if we are able to assist and see there, yes. uh, can it be Ascha Sarkoma? I, 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 mean, I presume that you have not seen the exodus. Maybe I. Maybe I. Then. No, can be done. But it's okay. But can it be Ascha Sarkoma? Points against points in favor. First, tell us point against two to sir. Against. So there is no uh, symptoms of any means like uh, loss of appetite or so any loss of any means. Exam examination. Sir, when you say this, what is giant cell tumor? कि पॉइंट्स से फेवर बताओ तो तुमको ये बताना है कि क्या एमसीक्यू के स्टेम में लिखोगे कि डायग्नोसिस जाइंट से ट्यूमर बन गया एमसीक्यू का स्टेम होता है ना उसमें क्या लिखोगे कि डायग्नोसिस जाइंट से ट्यूमर बन गया और क्या लिखोगे कि कि डायग्नोसिस ऑस्ट्रेलिया साल कुमार बन गया यही पूछ रहा है कि दोनों में फर स्वेलिंग Directed waves on that shows that it is a aggressive tumor, and we know the giant cell tumor can be benign type and can be aggressive type. Also, some of the giant cell tumor can be very very aggressive. They can have pathological fractures. It is a very big aggressive tumor, but you see the ballooning is there. What ballooning we say say in ABC. So here the differential diagnosis you should dis discuss. That it can be endosomosis because there is a ballooning, there is ex sudden expansion of the cortex, there is a uh, warm and probably blue might be there, but still you have to th you have, we have to see what are the other features. It is growing very fast, very big tumor, gyrator base, so malignancy cannot be ruled out. और फिर ये है कि ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा में पेन प्रोसीड द स्वेलिंग और जॉइंट सेल ट्यूमर में स्वेलिंग प्रोसीड द पेन ऑस्टियोसार्कोमा इज यूजुअली फ्यूजी फॉर्म Longer than broader, giant cell tumor is eccentric. It is giant cell tumor involves both metaphysis and epiphysis. That means you can't feel the epiphysis distal to it. Osteosarcoma में you can feel it. So basically, जब तक pattern recognition नहीं होंगे tumor के तुम्हारे दिमाग के अंदर, तब तक तुम DD इसकी नहीं discuss कर सकते. Pattern recognition होता है ना diagnosis में brain <coughs> All right. So we discuss the differential diagnosis, the findings, and uh, do you suspect pathological fracture here? Uh, not consistency, but because of <coughs> number one, the tumor is in the soft tissues. You know, the cortex is broken. And those are I do not know what uh, Professor J K Singh demonstrated a very nice test of of pulling, pushing the metatarsal. That was a very nice test. So I just wonder, Doctor Professor Singh, can that test be done over here by 
pulling, pushing the thumb? Your comments? You, yes, it can be done. It is called as telescopy. Or even you can thump it and elicit tenderness where there is a pathological fracture. But here you must see the level of the radial steroid and compare Backup. it with the ulnar steroid. If the radial Backup. steroid is raised, there is probably a pathological fracture. Okay? See the level of radial steroid and ulnar steroid. We can roll lower. See? It's okay, it's, it's just, uh, what will you do now? Then one more thing, about, what about neuromuscular <coughs> environment? Any neural environment? Which nerve specifically will you see in this patient? Mm. Median nerve, yes, because this is a big tumor in the palmar area, so median nerve must be examined. So, uh, let us, uh, let us uh, take it, it, it to be GCT, right? Just uh, put on the X-ray. Just put on the X-ray. X-ray, please. <laughs> And then the question was asked whether the, it is pulsatile or not. You know? It has also got some meaning. Oh, gluey or not? So read the X-ray. Uh, 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 it's better. It's better. Monitor with it. It's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. Lower end of uh, forearm showing uh, the uh, expand, expansion lesion in the distal end of uh, radius uh, with the soap bubble appearance in, in the swelling with breach of the cortex of the bones. So, after seeing the x ray, do you think that your diagnosis is correct? GCT is correct or not correct? You have seen the patient as well as the x ray. I can use that. Why do you think that this X-ray belongs to a GCT? What are the points in Sigma? Radiological points. Uh, site. Site of the tumor. Okay, site one. Yeah. It is a, a, a expand, it seems like an expand, uh, expand type so you know. Expand site. Expand. Okay. okay. So it does not cross the joint line. What are other peculiar radiological signs which are telling you that this is GCT? So bubble appearance. Pardon? So bubble appearance. George? So bubble appearance. So bubble appearance. Okay. So bubble appearance. Okay. Extent of the swelling. Okay. Huh? Right going up to the articular margin. This so you have made a differential diagnosis, uh, you have made a diagnosis of GCT on seeing this x-ray. Now this patient has come to you for the first time and you saw the x-ray today. What is the next step? So we will do the uh, basic lab investigations like CBC, TLC. Now which lab investigation is going to help in your diagnosis? The serum, the calcium, and phosphorus and the phosphorus. GCT, uh -huh. are they delayed in GCT? Calcium, phosphorus, alkali, no, something else. Any tumor markers, you know? Acha, all right. Okay, for now. So, so he, uh, your question was uh, what else? Your next step. Next step. Will your investigation karenge aap? Go for an MRI. MRI, why? No, Diagnosis yeah. is very obvious. Why you want to get MRI? In what way MRIs will? Help you. Because the base called uh, cortex free, so we, we have to we'll see the soft tissue involvement. You want to see the soft tissue involvement? Yes. One. Let's see the extent of the extent of the involvement. Yes. Two. And and which soft tissue involvement is troubling you? Which soft tissue are you worried about? What is that soft tissue which you want to see? So, uh, no, no. Okay, so, 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 so
clearly why are you so don't don't question back. Say it like an answer. Okay. So you have done an MRI, you have done an X-ray. Now what do you want to do? MRI is also easy. It's saying correlate clinically. Now what do you do? You go for a biopsy. Uh, how? What kind of biopsy? You know what are the types of biopsies? Yes. What are they? She is in this patient, in this patient, what kind of problems? Okay, you answer to Sir's question. <laughs> what are the types of biopsy? <laughs> Incisional biopsy, is a true cut biopsy. Incisional biopsy, true cut biopsy, or? Or? साइटोलॉजी भी होती है कर सकते हैं साइटोलॉजी नहीं इसमें कर तो सकते हो करो भी नहीं है एक्सीडेंटल बायोपसी हम्म अच्छा ठीक है बायोपसी भी पढ़ो तो आपने बायोपसी किया इट काउंट से जो जाइंट सेल चूमा नेक्स्ट स्टेप सर इफ इफ इट डेस नॉट इन्वॉल्व सॉफ्ट टिश्यू जाइंट सेल